In this episode, we learn how to do this. So in our project, and this is the clip that we want to draw text over, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the text tool and just normal text. We'll drop that down and we can come over, whoop, come over into the inspector when we're clicking on the text tool and we will put our text in here and we'll pick which font you want and you can do this with any font and I'm going to make it bigger so say like that and to be able to do this I would recommend not having everything on top of each other it'll make it a lot more difficult for you so I'm gonna have it a little spread out and what you'll notice is that you if you come over into the color tab it's not here you can't do anything with it so what we'll have to do is well first let's make it long enough to fit the whole length and not click on any of these so we'll right click on this and we'll make a compound clip out of it you can name it whatever you want now we have our compound clip, we're gonna go over into color. And then in the color tab, we're going to make an alpha output. We're gonna connect our first node to the alpha output. Clicking on this little arrow and bringing it over into the blue. And now let's just use uh, Luma as a qualifier and we're just gonna get rid of the black until it disappears. Okay, now we have it out. And then we're gonna click, make sure we're on our node. We're gonna make two other nodes. We'll just bring them up. And we also wanna right click and make a key, key mixer. Now we're gonna take the output of this alpha, the first one, and we're gonna put it into the bottom. And then our number two, we're gonna bring into our top. And then our output for here, we're gonna go back into the alpha, okay? Um, if we want to change the color, we can come into our third node and change our color now to whatever we want it to be. All right, we're gonna leave the first node alone. That's just to make our alpha mat so we have the font. Our second node is going to be where we animate this now. So how we are going to animate it is we're gonna use power windows and we're gonna use the mixture of power windows and the tracker, but we're gonna use it in the frame mode because then we can animate where the power window moves. All right, so, and let's click on our key mixer. We come down to the little key. And if you just turn this on and off, you're gonna see what's going on here. So the idea that we want to do is we want to have power window in number two to move across the whole thing. So now that we have it in this mode, we can see where we have the power window and we can see the font instead of guessing. So once we have the whole thing covered, we're gonna go over to our tracker and go into frame mode. And we are going to move in the clip where we want it to start. So we, let's say we want it to start a couple seconds in or six frames in. And now we're going to start moving this. And as you see, when, when I moved it, it added a keyframe here. So cool thing about this particular power window that I picked, which is polygon, is when you click on different parts of it, it will create another, um, anchor point. So I'm going to click right here in the middle and I'm just going to set an anchor point right there. And I'm going to just move this up a couple of frames and take this anchor point and start to move it. Okay. And I am going to also make another anchor point there and move it up. And you can see our frame count right here. So we know how far along we are and we can just move this down and then we'll move this guy over so that we're not touching the A. We'll move it a little bit more and we'll 
bring this down and bring this guy down too. And just a little bit more. And we will bring it over, make another anchor point and move it over just like that. So now we play this, we can see how it's going to go over this, okay? All right. Then we just keep going with the rest of the letters. So I think with the A, I'm going to make uh, another point and then another point. Let's zoom in a bit, make this a little easier. Another point and a, I'm gonna make three points. I'm gonna grab this one, come in here, grab this one, bring it over. Take this point and go down inside. Take this one and another point, add that up. So something like that we're gonna start. And we are going to go to about there. And we're gonna have this go around. And let's see how that looks. Okay. So I am going to move this up see how it interacts now okay that's a bit better I didn't want it to go through a corner of it and then just have that part up here so now it goes around and around to here we'll move this down move this guy as well Something like that. and keep going around and I think at this point you get the gist so I'm gonna just speed through everything now Okay, so I animated the whole thing. Let's watch this through quick. All right, so now we have an animation. What we're gonna do is come over to this key mixer, click on the key, and then click this little guy here. Yeah, that little guy. And now let's watch it. Okay, there's a little bit of a mistake in here. Let's come back here and try to figure out where that mistake is. Hmm. Let's see here, it's somewhere in here. Oh, right there. Because part of it, part of it's out and part of it's in. Okay. So, what we need to do is we just need to fill in the spaces a little bit. Alrighty, now we have that. Uh, one of the other things we can do is come into here. Seems like there's a little edge on everything. So we can come into our blur and bring it in. There we go. Should look a bit better.
All right. Now, if we wanted to speed it up, we could just come in to here and, you know, speed it up. The next thing we could do is grab a whiteboard. <sighs> then once you have a whiteboard, you need to grab some pens. Now we need to make some whiteboard sounds. Ooh. Okay, that's a bad idea. Okay, now we take that sound and mix it in. Ooh. And this is what we end up with. And that's pretty much how you would do uh, animated handwriting in DaVinci Resolve. Let me know what you think. Again, my name's JR and thanks for watching.